Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the Cycling Dane YouTube channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at one of the most dramatic parts of the final months of the season, the transfer market. So on this list we will be counting down the top 10 pro cycling transfers of the 2022 season. Before we share our list, all the information is accurate at the time of upload. Furthermore, this is a subjective list, so don't forget to join in the conversation below. Anyways, let's kick things off. Number 10. Esteban Chávez the nearly man of the 2016 Giro d'Italia, Esteban Chávez has had mixed fortunes over the past years at Team Bike Exchange. Despite his radiant personality and infectious smile, Chávez has not finished in the top 10 of a Grand Tour since 2016, the same year that he took a monument victory at Il Lombardia. Therefore, the Colombian has decided to move over to EF Nippo for 2022, joining his countryman Rigoberto Urán in the process. Esteban is 31 years old, so we think that he could still have some wins left in his legs. Number 9. Rowan Dennis Former World Individual Time Trial Champion Rowan Dennis has been an influential figure at Ineos Grenadiers. Most notably, however, he orchestrated the race-winning move for Theo Gegenhardt at the 2020 Giro d'Italia, as well as continuing to be a force against the clock as always. However, Rowan's time at Ineos has come to an end. Dennis will be packing his bags for Jumbo Visma in the winter in order to support Slovenian titan Primoz Roglic in his bid to win the Tour de France. After some fabulous teamwork over the past two years, we look forward to seeing what Rowan can do to help Roglic finally lift the Tour de France trophy. Number 8. Alexander Kristoff With multiple monument victories in his palmares, Norwegian sprinter stroke classics man, Alexander Kristoff will be moving over to greener pastures in 2022. Whilst at UAE Team Emirates, Kristoff has taken Tour de France stages, Haint Wavelhem, as well as monument podiums. But in 2022, he and his loyal lieutenant Sven Erik Boostrom will be moving over to Antemarche Wanty Gobert. The 34-year-old Norwegian may be reaching the twilight of his career on the road, but Kristoff is eager to give the classics another shot with the Antemarche team. Number 7. Elia Viviani A member of the elite group of sprinters to have won stages at all three Grand Tours, Italy's Elia Viviani has not had the best two years since his move to Cofidis at the beginning of 2020. Viviani was one of the top sprinters back in 2018 and 19 when he rode for Dakone Quickstep, taking the Malia Ciclamino in fact back at the 2018 Giro d'Italia. Next year, however, Viviani will be returning to Ineos Grenadiers after four seasons away from the British formation. Viviani will be looking to get back to winning ways with the team and take his first Grand Tour stage win since the 2019 Tour de France. Number 6. Alexander Vlasov The jewel in the crown of Astana over the past two years, Russian GC star Alexander Vlasov has decided to part ways with the Astana project for 2022. Instead, the climber who finished fourth at this year's Giro d'Italia will be moving over to Bora Hansgrohe in 2022 as part of their GC restructure. As the German team signed plenty more riders, Vlasov will be offered leadership roles in the Grand Tours for his new team. The 25-year-old has signed a three-year-long deal with Bora, so this move will be vital in his growth as a serious Grand Tour contender over the next years. Number 5. Pascal Ackermann 2019 Malia Ciclamino winner Pascal Ackermann has enjoyed plenty of success at Bora Hansgrohe after having won stages of many big week-long stage races and grand tours over the past number of years. However, the former German champion will be leaving Ralph Denk's Bora Hansgrohe in 2022 in order to move over to UAE Team Emirates. Therefore, Ackermann will bolster a strong UAE sprint squad that includes the likes of Fernando Gaviria and Juan Sebastián Milano in the new year. After years of being snubbed for the Tour de France, can Ackermann finally make the Tour de France roster at UAE? Number 4. Joao Almeida Portuguese superstar Joao Almeida has made quite the name for himself over the past year. After a barnstorming Giro d'Italia in 2020, a turbulent Giro d'Italia in 2021, as well as a dominant Tour of Poland win this year. The 23-year-old who currently rides for the Koenig Quickstep will be moving over to Tadej Pogacar's UAE team Emirates in 2022 after signing a five-year-long contract to 2026. The Joao Almeida saga has occupied much of the early season transfer news, but the Portuguese GC hopeful seems content with his new squad for 2022. Number 3. Vincenzo Nibali 
The shark of Messina, Vincenzo Nibali, has been the topic of many transfer talks. Despite initial rumours surrounding Aeolo Cometa, Nibali looks to have signed for Astana, the team that pushed him towards victory at the 2013 and 2016 Giro d'Italias, as well as his dominant 2014 Tour de France victory. The Sicilian legend will head up the squad going into 2022, as he looks towards his final contract potentially before retirement. Despite Nibali's heralded reputation in Palmares, he hasn't taken a race win since he won at the top of Val Torrance at the 2019 Tour de France. However, could this all change in 2022? Number 2. Sam Bennett Sam Bennett has enjoyed the dominant De Koenig quick-step sprint train over the past two seasons, but in 2022 he will be moving back to his old Bora Hanskora team. The Irish rider was victim of a long and public spout with De Koenig quick-step manager Patrick Lefebvre in the Belgian press over the past couple of months, resulting in a turbulent end to Bennett's stint at De Koenig quick-step. Now moving back to Bora Hansgrohe with his right-hand man Shane Archibald, Bennett could be setting his eyes on toppling the current run of green jerseys for De Koenig quick-step at the Tour de France. Now with Ackerman and another notable Bora Hansgrohe rider leaving the team, Bennett will have full control of their revitalized sprint train. Anyway, now it's time to cross over to our number one pick. And who else could it be apart from Peter Sagan? Yes, this is the one you were all expecting. It's the Terminator himself, Peter Sagan. After a long five seasons spent at Bora Hansgrohe, the former three-time world champion will be moving to Total Energies in 2022. The French Pro Continental team were the winners of what was a long transfer battle for the Slovak star, which included rumors about the Koenig quickstep. The details of Sagan's contract were fairly public. He needed to still be affiliated with Specialized, alongside signing Pete Sagan's closest teammates. After all, in 2022, we will be seeing Sagan take the roads of France on the second tier of professional cycling. But don't worry, we should still see Sagan compete in the Tour de France next July. Nevertheless, this surprise move has shocked the cycling world through and through, but we look forward to seeing what Sagan can do on the pro-continental level. Well, that's everything from our list of the top 10 pro cycling transfers of 2022. Don't forget to tell us down below what you think about these transfers and who you would have put in this list. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We will be covering more transfers in the weeks to come, as well as Paris-Roubaix and the World Championships in the next week. So all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching, and we will see you round.